Rebels Season 2 wrapped up with an explosive and heartfelt finale, as well as leaving our characters in a very different place when we first found them in Season 1, specifically Ezra. We now have multiple news outlets reporting Rebels will be wrapping up in Season 3, and that the final season will be used to help establish the upcoming Rogue One film. Currently, it is unclear whether or not any Rebels characters could cameo or even play a major role in Rogue One, but I wouldn't put it out of the question. Full video topic on this later is planned. I will briefly touch on this here, however, and say I do think Season 3 will have a lot to do with the Death Star. Back in 2014 when Rebels began, it was said that the series was not planned to go on as long as the Clone Wars did, and that the creators were shooting for three or four seasons with the story of Rebels. Of course, now Season 3 has been confirmed, but with it approaching the time that was discussed years ago, this adds validity to the rumors we are receiving. I do, however, want to make it clear, these are, in fact, rumors, and Rebels could continue on for two or three seasons, but with the time period approaching A New Hope, and no mention of any prominent Rebels members in A New Hope, it's not entirely unrealistic that this could be the end of the series. It was said, though, that even though this could possibly mark the end of Rebels, it will not be the last we see of the Ghost crew, and that their stories would continue in a more one-off format, showcasing more adventures through DVDs, novels, or comics. For me, the story of Rebels is a very fascinating one, and I think ultimately it will end up being the story of a young boy who was misguided and found something to fight for, but ultimately loses it and chooses to go down a much darker path. The story is playing out currently very similar to how the story of Anakin played out, although when concerning Ezra, the final result is still unclear. What we have from Ezra thus far has been really great, and I hope beyond hope that we have the opportunity to see that character in a live-action Star Wars film down the line, and that Rebel serves as a great backstory for a compelling character's origin. I do think it will be difficult, but I have faith that if the third season of Rebels is indeed the last, that they set up Ezra as a character and establish his viewpoints for use in other material. Ezra, now in possession of a Sith holocron and access to many dark side teachings, may provide him the perfect opportunity to develop fully as a character. If Ezra does embrace the dark within him, I hope we are able to see some type of confrontation between him and Kanan. Ezra's turn has been set up since day one, and I believe the ending of Rebels may have been foreshadowed in season two. When Kanan confronted the Jedi Temple Guard, later revealed to be the Grand Inquisitor, he said that if Kanan continued to fight, he would die, the Rebellion would be destroyed, and Ezra would become a servant of evil. What is interesting about this is we know ultimately, the statement concerning the Rebellion isn't actually true. The Rebellion wasn't destroyed, and that they were actually successful in toppling the Empire, so the Inquisitor's words may have been a test for Kanan, although the outcome of the other two statements are yet to be determined. Along with the rumor of Rebels ending, also comes the rumor that even though Rebels may be going away, that does not mean we won't have a Star Wars animated series. If Rebels does wrap up in Season 3, I am positive it will be replaced by another. I hope if Rebels does complete, for the new series, they choose to explore the 30-year gap between Return of the Jedi and The Force Awakens. Again, not from the perspective of characters we know, but maybe from the perspective from some Rebels fighting against the Empire, possibly before the climactic Battle of Jakku. For those of you that don't know, the Battle of Jakku marked the last major battle between the Empire and the Rebellion. This is why in The Force Awakens we see so many destroyed vehicles and ships on the planet. The time period is largely unexplored, and I believe the viewership for such a series would be huge as people are fascinated with the events of the Gap. It would also be great because the potential for stories there would be huge between the establishment of the new Jedi and the rise of Snoke in the First Order. Something I've loved about Star Wars is being able to learn more about the ongoings in the universe from other characters' perspectives, not just the main players. I think that having a new series set in that time with brief cameos from big characters like Luke or Han would be great, very similar to the way they do it in Rebels. The idea of getting new characters and keeping the appearance of classic characters special is a great feeling. I would much rather have someone like Luke play a smaller role in a single episode of a new series than have one revolved entirely around him, because to me at least, it keeps a character like that a bigger deal and builds more anticipation. I love Rebels, and I hope that Season 3 is great. I would be fine with the series ending as long as it is replaced by an equally intriguing new one. I hope when Rebels finishes, it serves as an origin for a character that will have a larger impact in more upcoming Star Wars works, and will ultimately serve as the perfect companion piece for a character that is used more in the future.
This to me would make the series perfect, and the knowledge that even though the series may end, we will still get to see the characters featured again in other stories would be a great touch. In conclusion, Rebels has been great, and seeing the development of Ezra has been a real treat. When it is all finally over, I would love to look back at the series as kind of a trilogy, beginning with an optimistic but mischievous young Force-sensitive and ending with that character either taking a dark road to be explored in further works, or choosing the light and standing by his friends. Either way, I look forward to it. Tell me what you think. Is three seasons simply not enough for you? And if they do end it, how do you think we will leave the characters? Also, if we get a new series, who would you like it to follow, and what time period should it be set in? Thanks for watching, and share all insight and comments down below. I look forward to reading it.